This episode is sponsored by Supreme of the UK. Click the link in the description and support the podcast. Thank you, MMA Guru, for highlighting indeed some very disturbing information. Now, there will be a follow up to this because, you know, the ginger youth is definitely on point. Now, before we get even get into the video, his video. <clears throat> Many people have had some uh, some doubts and some questions in regards to uh, Mr. Adesanya outside of the ring prior to the uh, the confrontation with um, Drickus Duplessis and the end bomb being thrown around and all of that controversial, crazy behavior. There were indeed some questions. Now. <laughs> Just let's hear. The whole dog situation. Mm. Israel Adesanya has responded. Earlier today, he went on an absolute Twitter spree. He didn't respond at the press conference because at the press conference, he was getting cooked so unbelievably bad, he shrank up into a little ball of silence and just waited for it all to pass over. But now that he's at home, he's taken a few hours and he's formulated his little Twitter spree, and he's done many things. He reverse exposed Sean Strickland, by the way, which is pretty crazy if it's true, really crazy if it's true, and I'm gonna talk about that, and we need some answers from Sean Strickland because it is sick what he re-exposed about uh, Sean Strickland or exposed again, counter-exposed about Sean Strickland, if you will. He also started disowning his fan base for saying that they can't condone what he's doing right now on Twitter. Lent into the dog things massively. And what is his fans and what is Mr. Guru referring to? <laughs> dog business. Hmm. Israel Andersanya is turning up to press conferences with pearl necklaces, choker chains in essence. Because, you know, they're very tight around his neck. Dog collars, painted nails. On this occasion, he turned up with like, now look, I know like the punks, you know, there is genres where men, you know, some men <laughs> paint their nails and like fathers who have daughters, you know, all this kind of stuff. I don't think Israel Adesanya falls into any of that. So, what we're talking about, we're talking about um, uh, painted nails, painted tips. Was it French manicure or something like with the little the white tips? What kind of weird old business <laughs> is going on with the uh, uh, the UFC champ? Let's just skip a little bit. Let's skip a little bit. People Come are on. defending these things individually. The problem I have with all of this is that they're all coming together. You were playing with it on video. Then you're following, and people aren't talking about this, and Israel Desanya's not talking about this either. You were following a dog fetish page on Twitter. You have liked other dog fetish things on Twitter, on Instagram as well. <laughs> now, in this modern age, and... Israel does, you know, he's into all this weird stuff. You know, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a child of the millennium. So technology, I'm hearing, you know, this is a, a totally new idea for myself, but burner accounts, having accounts where you can talk reckless, I guess, and or even a burner account where you can follow. Because look, behind closed doors, everyone is, does their, you know, may have some very strange kind of quirks quote unquote but that's behind doors man and you if you if you want to you know let's look at it he's a he's a, you know being pushed and marketed as the big one of the biggest stars in the ufc etc etc you know he's been shoved down our neck in essence he's marketable very talented fighter quite uh a little bit more boring of recent but Fight style wise. But why on earth would he be liking following 
any kind of perverse stuff that's going to be uh, highlighted, <laughs> it, it, it baffles the imagination. It totally does. You're into that whole scene. And that's something that's not being said in defense of Israel Desanya. They're saying it wasn't really jerking it. He was just playing with the dog's dick, which is a crazy defense that we're having now. By the way, it really shows you where we are in a world. Um, but they're arguing, oh, you only made a joke in an interview and it didn't land. Why are you guys being so crazy? It's not the individual things. The indiv ind individual things are bad enough. They're weird enough. It's all of them put together that make this entirely creepy. And that's what my video was. But they know they can't defend it when it's all put together. So they just attack the individual things and say the individual thi Yes. <clears throat> Excellent points. And indeed, uh, Mr. Guru, the ginger one, put together a very good timeline, you know. And uh, it's, you know. <laughs> Let's go back to the, the, the press conference. Mm. Israel, Israel, Israel. I think the pressure of the exposure and the expose, uh, pride, but primarily by Mr. Guru, you know, it was messing with you. It was really messing with you. He was very subdued. He was picking on 125ers and stuff, apart, uh, rather than allowing the two 125ers go at it, you know. He's... Hmm. Interesting to say the least. He was he was razzled. He was emotionally razzled. He was trying to come up with those little silly one-liners and all that. The crowd weren't feeling him. They were feeling you know, his opponents. He's not even from the country. He's the Yank. Ah. The individual things aren't weird. That wasn't jerking off. I was only playing with the dick. That's really the defense that we're going with here. But whatever, we move on to some other stuff. Keep reaching, you inbred fucks. I'm about to kill your president. So he's saying everyone's reaching, the inbred fans of Sean Strickland. I just thought I'd show this. Uh, Israel Desanya calling people inbred. This is your stock. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you chill it with the inbred comments, in my opinion, Israel Desanya. You're from a very rich lineage of aristocrat Yoruba Nigerians. Um, I don't know if you know how rich lineages work. But, uh, you know, if we look back in everyone's history, we'll find a bit of that, mate. So don't be so holier than thou on the whole inbreeding situation. <laughs> Is Sean Strickland a little bit inbred? Yes, Let's he's go a little bit. Let's go used. a little bit. However, what the? Oh, okay, being honest with What's you. this? And he zooms in on it and says, yeah, good girl and all this type of stuff. Let me see if I can play you guys the audio of this. <clears throat> the dog just did this on his own. But it's the groan that Israel Adesanya makes. I don't even know if, if he checked the audio on this video before he posted it, you creep. Listen to the groan of enjoyment that Israel Adesanya makes as this dog, in his mind, comes itself, okay? In excitement. Hey, dear. Listen to the groan that Israel Adesanya is about to make as he notices his dog's doing this. Oh... Uh. Yeah, what on earth? What As the your dog's hell? doing that, you're a creep. This is, you know. <laughs> Where's the animal protection? Huh? Where's animal protection at? What are we doing? Why are we filming all this stuff? Why are we putting up captions? This is bizarre, okay? Very bizarre. Paradox. Who who is he with? This that that fella. I can't remember his name. They kept on putting him on aerial and interview mode. Listen, tell Israel to calm down with all this stuff. This is a terrible look for him. He has he has lost now. <laughs> hmm. Out of three fights, how many has he lost, and how many has he won? Do 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 do. He's making these crazy posts. Like, someone needs to get his account. Someone needs to have a talk with him. You know, this is this is very strange and odd behavior. We're concerned for the animals. Like, what are we doing, Israel? Huh? 
Is his post getting knocked out by um, Alex Pereira? Or has this behaviour been taking place for some time? And he's like, I'm exposing to myself. This is the eight mile moment. You've seen this champ. I never killed a dog, he says here. What keeps life exciting? Are you just happy waiting to die? Maybe you should start hunting. You get to kill things legally. This is crazy from Sean Strickland. And he needs to clear this up, in my opinion, because this is weird. And I don't like this whatsoever. Although we're cooking out of Sam, yeah, we got to add some fucking fire to the pan of Sean Strickland as well here because, Jesus, dude. Where are we going? What, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Nah, Stylebender, I don't know why he retweeted or anything. No, 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 no. We got some other stuff. Normalized words is approved. He then leans into it. I won't need a death note, just this. Him and his dog. So he's leaning into the dog stuff that he's been doing. I'm going to go to the replies in a second, and we're going to go through all of them as well. Hold up, let me cook. And then this is crazy stuff as well that I'm going to get him on because he was hypocritical here. I know I used my platform to ask about the uh -uh list. Someone has the clip. I don't brag about being a good person because I can also be a bad oh, person. Israel's real, Sean's a pawn. Hey man meme here. I don't know how they don't see this when they're tweeting it. I guess they just have their say and they don't respond to the backlash of it. You're sponsored by Prime. You don't be calling out anyone for signing to Monster. And you even mentioned it right away. You're a monster, but I'm in my prime. I made a li <laughs> nice little one-liner cringe about it again. <laughs> you're, a, you're a gimmick as well. You're a sellout as well. This guy... It's, I, I listen, if you haven't watched it already, watch Mr. Guru. Uh, <laughs> it's not a good look, man. This is a terrible look, man. He's taking owls. He's taking owls with the things he's doing outside of the cage or the octagon. And he's taking owls inside the damn cage. What's next for Israel Adesanya? I don't know, but he needs to reevaluate what on earth he's doing. He needs to slow it down. This isn't kickboxing. You're not the youngest gentleman, right? We've lost, what, two out of the last three bouts. We need to have a little bit of a break, you know. <laughs> uh, we're not going to be moving up to 205 or nothing like that. We're going to take a break. We're going to reestablish some things. Um, we're going to come back in 2024. I think you should stay quiet on social media, Israel. Potentially seek some help. You know, if this is a joke, it's not funny. <laughs> it is not funny. Like, you know. <laughs> sort it out, man. Sort it out. This is this is an absolute terrible look. UFC are <laughs> clearly <laughs> like go back and watch the press conference. <laughs> oh my god, it's it's absolutely crazy. And who would have thought? Who would have thought that a teep and a one-two would defeat the world a consensus in regards to UFC and most people. The best striker in the UFC, <clears throat> the 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 uh, you know the best middleweight champion who's got a lot of title defenses. Uh, you know he was very active. You know, not going to take nothing away from him. But what are we doing? How did that happen? This is the beauty of MMA. This is why we love MMA and combat sports because anything can happen. Nobody expected that. Look, Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland. <laughs> Came out looking like nothing happened to him. He was hardly touched. Hardly touched. And he comments. He has commented before how he's got white pasty skin and, you know, the wind can blow and he'll get a bruise and all that. Nothing, nothing like that happened. Israel looked bossed up a bit. You know. Um, congratulations to Sean Strickland, man. He did the thing against all odds. <laughs> mentally, I mean, you know, I won't blame Dana talking about he, he looked tired and all this. He looked, Israel mentally just was not in the thing, man. He got exposed. He got exposed and that was in his head. The, 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 the crowd wasn't filling him. There was on the side of Sean Strickland. He didn't, you know, like, they were trying to talk him up and all this kind of stuff. It, not, it was just was not working. He even said, I can't, I can't hit him with the jab. I can't find him. What was that round three or four? Like, yeah. The game plan 
to defeat Israel Adesanya, as Alex Pereira did. Pressure, 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 pressure. <laughs> and you don't even need to be um, flashy with it. We can be as basic as a deep and a one-two. Yeah? Keep a defensive posture and just walk my youth down. Just walk him down, walk him down, walk him down for five rounds and become the UFC, um, you know, middleweight champion. That's how we do it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Adios.